Greetings, Earthlings. I should have done this video two years ago. Better late than never. GE, General Electric, the company that stands for genocide. This corporation has killed the Pacific Ocean. It's on life support. Yeah, you're going to find some life still out there, but a lot of it's dead. A lot of people are still eating that seafood. And the people at GE just laugh at you as they try to sell their stock away. It's a very, very shady company. GE is right up there with Monsanto as far as being one of the evilest corporations in the world. You can make an argument that General Electric will probably be responsible for most of the animals going extinct in the future. And most humans will not survive it either. Uh, your kids' kids are going to have a hard time surviving when most of General Electric's nuclear plants melt down, like in Fukushima. You can only have so many of those events happen before you reach a critical mass where it's Sayonara. I love basketball. I used to play every day for four hours a day. I loved it. It was a great workout and very competitive sport, very fun to play. So it really bothered me when I see this GE logo on the Boston Celtics uniform. Now, I'm not a Boston Celtics fan, but I can relate to the people in Boston who've been bombarded with radiation themselves. Boston, they're really high when it comes to rads. They shouldn't be that high. Look at their average is 311. That's the, the time that Fukushima happened on 311 of 2011. That's telling you, that's a sign, Boston. You need to get GE out of your city and off of your uniform. This is also another high area. Warcaster, Massachusetts. It averages at 294. Look at Boston. Boston has Seabrook around it. It's got Plymouth Nuclear Power Plant around it. Vermont Yankee, which is a Fukushima design. Another Yankee. Boston. You need to make a petition or something to get that logo off of your uniform. I mean, it's cheesy anyway. You want a cheesy logo of a company that's destroying the ocean on your uniform? Now take a look at this. It's going to freak you out. I got a 12-year data chart here of the radiation. And oh. It just starts going up after 2011. Look at that. 311. Another sign. You used to look at those bombardment of rads for the next couple of years happening in Boston from the Fukushima radiation. When the Fukushima plume, when it came over, you people in Boston, I know you love St. Patty's Day, St. Patrick's Day. Well, when you were playing and outside drinking all that beer, St. Patrick's Day, the Fukushima radiation was going over your parade. Literally, you were breathing these particulates. And these bozos didn't tell you. They didn't warn you. Some of the people that worship the Obama, he didn't tell you. You know what he did? He said, oh, the Fukushima radiation won't reach the shores of the United States. And as soon as he gave that Rose Garden speech, what did he do? He jumped in his plane with his family and his staff and flew to Brazil while you partied in the streets with your St. Patrick's parades. And I know the cancer rates are pretty high around Boston. It's sickening what you all are going through, what our country is going through, what our planet has gone through. And it's only getting worse. There's really no good solutions now. The nuclear waste is piled up. It's all around you. The average citizen, more than half the citizens of the United States will live within 50 miles of nuclear waste. And they want to put the nuclear waste in the most ridiculous of places, underneath water tables. It's all around in your communities. The nuclear waste is in your hospitals. We're being bombarded. Look at all these nuclear waste bags in Fukushima. There's millions of them. You can't put the genie back in the bottle. 
You look around, you're going to find the mutations all around. It's not hard to find. The real refugees, the nuclear refugees of Fukushima, there's millions of them. The ocean's never going to be the same. Your Boston chowder, you don't want to eat it no more. Especially if it's from the Pacific. The waste is piling up. And the nuclear reactors are still melting down. Look at these pictures. There's no way the fuel pool survived that. The spent fuel pools went up into the air. Three full meltdowns. Meltouts. Melt throughs. Penetrating the Earth's crust. Going directly into the water table. And GE's off the hook. They actually got off the hook because the system is so corrupt. They developed the designs, the poor design that melted down, couldn't withstand the pressure. It was a very small pressure reactor and the containments were too small. Nuclear is evil as hell, but GE made the worst one possible. And wildlife is showing signs something is wrong. This is not only hitting Japan, all the Pacific Islands. You're taking billions of people's seafood away from them. It's contaminated. We literally have revelations playing out. Look what they've done to our planet. They don't care. They're continuing to make more designs. They want to put these small modular reactors in every neighborhood. They're pushing for them. Are you going to just let them do whatever they want to you? To your family? To the victims? The Operation Tamadachi? GE doesn't have to pay them nothing. They put their ass on the line to protect us, to get us the results. Plumegate is real. Fukushima radiation is real. The Fukushima 50 all are dead. It won't be in our lifetimes that they will ever fix this or clean it up. They're just waiting for the time to run out so they can just cash in. It's a warning sign. You must never eat the seafood again. It's gone. Sayonara. The Fukushima rads are causing cancer. But these buildings were completely destroyed, completely wiped out. And they actually had the audacity to say they were able to remove spent fuel rods. No way. Those spent fuel rods went into the atmosphere. If you look around, you're going to find lots of mutated plants. I see trees all the time. They have tumors on them. Very weird stuff. I didn't see that before 311. No. This is not going away. It's only going to continue to intensify over the years. And here we are, 2020. I can't believe it. We're actually here, 2020, the Fukushima Olympics. As they're going to be running their plutonium torch through Futoba province. This is only a few miles away from Fukushima Daiichi where they're going to be running the torch of death. Are you going to be part of that? General Electric sponsor of the Fukushima Olympics. They just want to keep the the smoke screen alive. They're saying, oh, the Olympics is safe because we're having the Olympics there, so it's got to be safe, right? Wrong. Wrong. I really hope that some countries will pull them out. Actually, it was Russia had some concerns about the games being in Fukushima. And they had some concerns, naturally, you know, because Russians had to deal with Chernobyl. So, what do you know? This is just an opportunity for the CIA bozos to say, well, we need to get make sure Russia doesn't participate because they're a bunch of uh, steroid users. Bunch of bull crap. So they just use that as an excuse. Well, good for Russia that they're not sending any of their people to Fukushima. Good for them. And I hope other countries do the same as well. It's a blessing in disguise that they banned Russia from participating in the Fukushima Olympics of death. 
and it's just a big game that they're playing with us and they're playing with your basketball team with that crazy logo on it so do us right make a petition and get rid of that logo on your uniform Thank you.